I just have to tell them how that goes. All right, let's get started. We have, everybody should have three pieces of paper. We have two, we're gonna start the, the, to the seven archangels. You remember. And we'll do the pillar of light protection in this one and we'll all say together. Yeah, I have to remind him that was a, a mess up for a long time ago. So he put the wrong, the link, that's what happened. Okay. Okay, let's all say together the prayer to the seven archangels. Well, there's more than seven, but let this particular seven, so. Michael, 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 may the guardian angels from the heavenly legions stand forth for all to see purify, illumine, manifest the glory of light's perfection that each one may be. Jophiel and Camuel, Gabriel and Raphael, Uriel and Zekiel, and mighty host of light, cherubim and seraphim, from the realms of glory, rend now the veil that dims our human sight. Blessed seven archangels, for illumination, we invoke thy presence in hymns of praise to thee. Keep us consecrated to God's plan fulfilling in purity thy ministers be. Pillar of light protection. I call on the I am presence of God to surround me with a tube of dazzling white like substance like sun glistening snow pouring down around me as a circular wall of light. This light essence is constantly pouring like Niagara Falls. I also call on beloved Lord Gautama to surround my protective pillar of light with your circle of blue flame for any added protection which may be required. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Invoking the law of forgiveness. Beloved presence of God, I am in me. I am the ascended master's law of forgiveness and transmuting flame of all the mistakes I have ever made and those of all mankind, as well as those of the elemental kingdom. Transmute this misqualified energy into the light that Illumine our minds and feelings and see that neither I nor any of the rest of life ever make the same mistakes again. Transmuting violet flame invocation. Magic I am presence, blaze through and around me the transmuting violet flame, thy sacred fire. Purify and transmute now all impure desires, hard feelings, wrong concepts, imperfect etheric records, causes, cores, effects, and memories known or hidden. Keep this flame sustained and all powerfully active. Replace all by pure substance, power of accomplishment, and the divine plan fulfilled. After violet flame invocation, beloved Lord Gautama, Archangel Michael, and Ascended Master Jesus, charge into this violet flame, your purifying, dissolving power of divine love and its most powerful dynamic activity. Let the powers of light descend into earth and take full command. In the name of the cosmic I am presence, to all that is not of the light we say, you have no power, your end has come. In the name of the cosmic I am presence, for all humanity, we now consciously bring the manifest to bring into the manifestation of the divine plan fulfilled. Ascension decree, my magic I am presence. You direct my activity, world, and affairs, and take full command of me. Guide, protect, illumine me every step of the way, and see that I render the greatest service possible. See in your wisdom that I make the ascension at the close of this embodiment. I am the ascension manifesting. I thank you, beloved I am. We remember, 
we remember we are spiritual beings of light, one with the source of all creation. We remember all is one. We remember we are creators and part of a divine creative plan. We remember we are here in physical expression as guardians and stewards to earth. And we work in collaboration with other spiritual beings of light from various streams of consciousness. Work together, founded by a love, to liberate God's mother, to take her place as a world of peace. We walk the path of love and light. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. I send the energy of love and gratitude to the water and all the living creatures in the Gulf of Mexico and its surroundings, to the whales, dolphins, pelicans, shellfish, plankton, coral, algae, and all living creatures. I am sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. Prayer of the Seven Galactic Directions. From the East House of Light, may wisdom dawn in us so we may see all things. From within. From above, house of heaven, where star people and ancestors gather. May their blessings come to us now. From below house of earth, may the heartbeat of her crystal core bless us with harmonies to end all war. From the center galactic source, which is everywhere at once, may everything be known as the light of mutual love. Koyam, umnam ku, maya, imaho. So what are things we're going to do? Did we do the pillar of light protection, invoking the law of forgiveness? Yeah. We did all of that? Yeah. Wow, I left. <laughs> no memory of that. Okay, welcome, Jesse. Um, there has apparently been a uh, communication faux pas here, but I'm glad that you joined us, Jesse. And uh, we have uh, a beautiful amount of people here uh, at the Cosmic Center who have physically come. And so we are here to do this very important and, and powerful work. So uh, hopefully next week we won't have that problem. We'll correct whatever uh, little glitch happened. You know, whenever there's something important, you know, it just doesn't smooth. And that's why we must be patient and be able to meander and not get ourselves upset that we keep on moving forward. Okay, so we're gonna turn off this light over here. If you could just pull that light. Thank you, Susan. Mm -hmm. Oh, this picture looks so beautiful with the Ascendant Masters behind. Hi, guys. And I feel inspired to do something a little bit different. And I want to bring in the, uh, I want to bring in a, a name of God uh, when we start. So just follow my lead on that. But I have definitely got the imprint to do that. Uh, already, I just want to tell everybody that there is energies that are already coming in right now. So just know that each and every sacred in-breath and out-breath that you take at this moment is bringing in and incorporating in a divine sacred communion of this rarefied energy that is flowing in. We haven't started yet, but yet it is here. So let's take a deep breath and I'll start with this.
Repeat after me. Yod hey shin vod hey. 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 Yod hey. Shin bod hey, yo hey, shin bod hey. And even as divine and sacred energies move in and through this sacred space, transcended of time and location. A divine, a sacred signal point of vibrating energies that bring all who participate in this divine and sacred convergence. We are here to say to all who are committed and have been on this path whether it be known on the conscious level or unknown on the subconscious level that has brought you to this eternal now, to this sacred divine moment. We are here to say to you already, without any preparation or ritual, that the very intention of being here in higher service which is the first and great commandment of the Ark of the Covenant, to love God with all your heart, with all your might, and with all that you have, has brought you to this sacred and divine moment. It is this agreement that is among many participants on many levels, many pointing at divine energy points that are too numerous to be able to describe or understand at this point. But we are here to tell you and assure you that you are very much, very much a part of this divine interconnected network a pulsating energetic frequencies that align in a great divine harmonic of the eternal father, eternal mother. And it is your love and your service that has brought you here into this sacred reunion of other consciousness that do the same as you in a myriad of expressions, dimensions, realms. So it is in this great convergence, as you could see yourselves as emanating light, almost as you would see a sparkling, those sparklers, and those sparklers of light, that are living light and they are organic, are all numerous throughout the multiverse. And as far as one's consciousness can move and can see through the eternal eye, the sacred eye that connects all of us here together, you are part of this divine radiance and illumination. 
And so in this sacred communion and in this sacred convergence of all of the pinpoints of sparkling light throughout the many dimensional realms, expressions of the divine, we come together in love unconditionally in the highest eternal light of the Supreme Eternal One. And in this love of service, in this transcendence, higher service that pulls you through challenges, through discords, through distortions, illusions, and miscreations, nonetheless, you move forward in self-doubt, in those parts of yourself that would distract you or would move you away from this higher calling that you have seized and have never ever in the deepest part of yourself disconnected with. And so it is in this divine and sacred moment that we come together in the love of the almighty eternal one that has brought forth this divine and sacred gathering of the myriad of sparks of light that bring forth creations on all levels in all expressions for this eternal moment to converge together in this template. There is now a very sacred energy that pours in, a new octave, if you will, a more expansive consciousness, if you will, a more dynamic gathering of communion, if you will, that converges in this moment. We ask you, dear beloveds, simply to breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath and the re-remembering that you breathe the breath of Brahma, that you breathe the breath of the divine, and it is the divine that breathes through you and animates you. And in this holy alliance, in this eternal now, we now bring the convergence of this radiant light, this light that has converged in this eternal now because of your love for God, because of your love of service, because of your higher heart of compassion and kindness and caring. Breathe with intention, each holy and sacred in-breath and out-breath. And the yod he shin bod he, yod he shin bod he, energy is what we will now experience. In the yod he shin vod he. It is the anointing of the Christ consciousness and divine Maitreya. It is the sacred divine plan and the returning of the cycles upon cycles for the next octave of ascension and in this ascension frequency we call upon the family of light of all dimensions expressions and realms to come together in higher service 
it is because of their love for God, for the source, for the eternal one. And thus as you had seen in the celebration of Pentecost, a divine fire letter comes, comes from the very consciousness, comes from the very beingness of the divine Christ consciousness. Yod he shin vod he yod he shin vod he. See very clearly that there is the divine eye and this divine eye comes upon an illuminated cloud and this divine cloud is white but within its whiteness is the hue of multicolors of the cosmic rainbow And with each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath, this divine cosmic eye, the divine eye from the highest realms of light, comes and brings in the fire letter of Yod. It is a flaming lighter, a letter that comes as a symbol and a sacred energetic, coming from the highest celestial realms of light. Simply see this fire, this illumined sacred fire of the sacred letter of Yod above your head and as you use your spiritual eye as you observe the radiant eye this fire letter this fire illumination of the divine presence continues to anchor just above the head and it starts to grow and radiate. And as we understand this divine gift that has been given to us, we come together in great humility and gratitude for this divine blessing and grace that comes on the watchful divine eye of creation. And we simply breathe with intention because this is the divine gift that is given in this moment and as you continue to see sense and know the yod flame above your head that cannot be contained and continues to grow and to radiate and illuminate where your physical, mental and emotional body is consumed in its fire, consumed in its fiery intelligence consumed in its light. And every cell, 
every beingness on the atomic, subatomic levels of your beingness that extends into the luminous expressions of this interconnectedness that you are on so many realms, dimensions, and expressions of the divine begins to vibrate and become entrained in this celestial gift of grace and light. And so we simply breathe each and every sacred, holy in breath and out breath knowing and aware that each breath illumines, expands, and radiates our own inner light, our connection to the myriad of lights, to the lights of those who are on the path of love and unconditional in our pathway of the love of God, radiating through our very nervous system, moving through the divine crystals within our blood, moving and accelerating the very electron spin within our atomic and subatomic levels. And in these sparkling of lights, in this divine communion and collective of tremendous and interdimensional proportions, creates here now a sacred supernova of light and understand the beloveds that in other dimensional realms and creations of worlds look upon this as a great sun. And as you transcend the physical, mental, and emotional containment and move into the higher parts of yourselves, tapping into the radiance that is you, tapping into the multitude of illuminations separate and together at once individualized and the collective at once. As your soul's journey brings you to the love of your creator, to the one source of all creations. And it is this road, beloveds, that you are on moving into a new transcended state of expression and experience. And this divine grace pours in because you are vital, needed into the world that you find your physical, mental, and emotional expressions into the material density you find parts of yourself. And it is in these parts that seek transcendence and freedom and liberation. And so it is the great signaling and the call of the children of light upon the earth. It is the signaling and the call of those who have not forgotten. 
It is the signaling and the call that the children of the earth are ready. And it is in this illumined path that each and every one of you walk on your return home onto the next octave, the next level, the next expression, the next expansion of consciousness. And in this supernova experience, with a divine eye that holds all light, coming from the limitless light, in a myriad of colors beyond the limitation of a light spectrum of a physical world, bringing in this sacred energetic in the flame that is all consuming of the divine, bringing you now in sacred holiness, in sacred service to your next step, to your next expression on your journey home. We take these few moments here now to receive this divine sacred grace with the yod flame as given to the apostles and simply breathe the sacred illumined breath that connects you more deeply And now, as this radiance and illumination expressed in the convergence of hearts and mind who love God, whose service has brought them to this moment, as this divine communion and convergence as a great supernova of light has illumined the consciousness expansion beyond time and space. To retrieve this sacred energetic from the family of light, 
to work as the sacred catalyst that anchor and bring in the high illumination frequencies onto the sacred earth and to all of her life. And so together we come and bring forth this energetic that continues to accelerate, radiate, and illuminate. And even as we feel it, sense it, as it moves through us energetically in our physical, mental and emotional bodies as it moves beyond the many subtle bodies as it moves into interconnection of the consciousness expansion of lights are brought together in this sacred communion of hearts and minds of those who love God. As this consuming fire, we now step into our positions as the great Elohims, as the great co-creators, as the children of light upon the earth, as we hold our positions, as our sparkling light comes into focus, and we now bring our intention and intention upon the sacred earth, past, present, future, in all of her seven expressions. And holding this sacred consuming fire, the divine yod, the fire letter, that clears, illumines, and expands into higher worlds. We see this now in our inner eye, connecting to the illumined higher eye of all colors. And just as how a supernova brings radiant light, so we bring light upon the sacred earth. We bring our combined light into the kingdoms of the sacred earth, into her elements. We bring it into the physicality, into her emotions, and into the mentality. We bring it in all the subtle fields, in all timelines. We bring our inner eye and focus it upon our sacred earth as we allow this light to shine on her bringing healing, bringing balance, bringing purification and wholeness once again. We see this divine grace and we move it into the mineral kingdom, into the very physical body of the sacred earth that has been damaged and distorted. And we bring in the illumination to heal, to balance and to purify. And these new encodements come and anchor in the mineral kingdom. And we move our light, this radiance, 
into the plant kingdom. In the sacred activation of the original Genesis. That balance symbiotic relationships, creating a wholeness once again is established. And we move our vision and our light to the animal kingdom. And we illumine our light on these precious souls as they continue to evolve in their own consciousness, physical, mental, and emotional and that the balance and healing takes place between the animal kingdom and the human kingdom, that the established symbiotic relationship is established once again. And we bring our intention, our vision, and our light upon the human kingdom And our focus upon the human kingdom is the original thought of the sacred Adamic race. The sacred Adamic race in higher alignment of the Admin Kadman, the divine human, the guardian of the earth and all her life. We bring forth the radiance in the re-remembering of this sacred charge to the human kingdom. And we bring the radiance into the fourth dimension of the astral plane and it is in the astral plane so connected to the physical plane that much distortion takes place. And so we bring this grace, this fiery intelligence to purify, to clear, to clean, and to balance once again the higher frequency of the astral plane connected to the higher heavens. And we bring this illumination, we bring this vision to the Christ grid consciousness upon the sacred earth that all distortions, blockages, and interceptions can no longer cling, can no longer hold on, but must leave, separate, and move away as the ascending Gaia, as ascending mother moves forward in her new octave. We hold our positions a bit further and longer and see the divine sacred radiance and illumination as a supernova completely consuming our sacred earth, her moon, and her position in the solar system of the great Helios Vesta.
And as she has become illumined with this fiery light, she extends it out to her brothers and sisters and to the asteroid belt that once held a sacred planet that throughout all timelines, past, present, future, through all interconnections, that healing and balance, purity and wholeness is once again established. Throughout the sacred solar system of Helios Vesta. And now the thought of the return has come. So with each breath, we now breathe in and out. We begin to draw in our electromagnetic field, even as all those sparkles of light begin to draw in theirs. And as this yode consuming fire begins to recede and go back to its source, and as the energy of this supernova communion of lights, hearts, and minds go back to its source, knowing that things have forever changed. And so as we draw our energies in and all the radiant ones draw in theirs, we intend to be back. We intend to be grounded. on the count of three. One, drawing in our energies with the intention of being back in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies and grounded. Two, take a deep breath in. And three, we are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. Give yourself a moment to come back. Um, uh, Jesse and Annie, I'll unmute you. Uh, if you wanna share in the, you know, I guess you have to unmute yourselves. Jesse and Annie, if you want to, you can unmute yourselves because, uh, I can't unmute you. Everything is different this time. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, okay. Okay, I see your um, long Zoom link. I'm not sure how that happened because I thought I did anchoring live. Anyway, 
we are here and this was so powerful and so very strong you know everything happens for a reason so you know there are some times when uh some of you know we supposed to have like a you know a large group of people or and it just won't happen it's not meant to be it just won't happen it's not the technology it's none of that it's not supposed to happen so this is not unusual and because of the nature of what this was um or perhaps it had to be limited because i think it was because it was very much about um the energy of what has brought us here is our love for god our love for service that's the energy that was the, the 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 connecting point. But what I wanted to tell you, I didn't even get a chance to pay the music because just as we, you know, just sat down after I did the the bowl, the energy came right in. I started before I even <laughs> had any, could do anything, and I said, then I took a break. So I should play the Yod Hey Shin Bo Hey and. Um, the, you know, the idea of the sacred name came in from earlier today. And then looking back, I could see the Yod, Hey, Vod, Hey, mm -hmm. and then the whole, but what we did was Yod, Hey, Shin, Vod, Hey. And, um, that is something that I was doing this week, uh, with Annie, you know, uh, the Yod, um, and the, the Shin, which is the heart. Uh, the, the hay and so it's, it's a way that you do that and that's what came in and that energy was like instant it wasn't even a building up to it it was like there already so i just went into that and then after that energy you know do you remember the yodes the the fire thing well that's that's what came in and i believe because we said yod hey shin vote hey we we called in the Yod Hei Shin Bode. Powerful. These are powerful names. These are, um, they're 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 transformative if you use them and you come with a sincere heart. And so I believe that what happened is, as we had said, and we use our voices, Yod Hei Shin Bode, hey, Yod Hei Shin Bode. Hey, what ended up happening was that um, um we brought in uh, the the yod or the fire that's how we, it was like how the 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 apostles got that and this is a, a high energetic coming from a very high place and it's all consuming but then of course how blessed are we to have that that's in us and coursing through us but we're here to serve so it was getting to a certain level this was so important there was like as, as far as you could see, like these, you know how you have sparkles, the sparkles for the 4th of July, where it was like sparkles throughout time and space, which represented different groups like us, that, that was beyond dimension, beyond everything. But what united us on our journey back was our service and love for God. That's why we do it. That's why we take the crap we take. That's why we do the stuff we do because it's that part of us that's so strong that pulls us, okay? So that was the unifying factor. It was again, and I talked about the Ark of the Covenant. Remember, I talked about the Ark of the, and the, Ark of the Covenant. Love God with all your heart. With all, that's the energetic. This has happened once before too, that energy, but not on this level. And so it was like this, very multidimensional experience that united us in this singularity and that like a supernova because it was the eye again we this is the second time with the eye this eye came in more as a um like how you would see how this more wispy but within the white light was all lights all kind of lights. I mean, I just saw it like as pastels, but it was like every light that exists in creation because we were working on a multidimensional level with these other sparkling lights. So that's how it came in. And then us using our own light. The other day we were, we had a, a whole thing with our eye, inner eye that took place. But anyway, what happened tonight, um, before I forget, I'm saying it quickly, is that us now became Elohim like a supernova holding that energetic and all these other sparkling lights had to converge for us to hold it. It is pretty profound. 
we did some amazing work. I just want you to know, and this lasted long. This lasted a long time. So then now we're holding this energetic like a super and our radiance, and then we direct it because we have the eye. We're going to, oh, mineral kingdom, plant kingdom, da da da, you know, this. And we went to the astral plane as well and throughout the solar system, including the, um, the asteroid field, because it's a time, past, present, future. There was once a planet there. So I was covering all bases. So I thought this was quite phenomenal. And maybe it was just simply a very small group was to experience this. You know, that's it. Um, anybody have anything to say? Um, I see that you're um, Annie. Yes. Okay. Hi, Annie. Why would you share with everybody? Speak loud. Okay, I will. I guess when you started, I could not find the link that works. And it just oh. kept saying, waiting for the host to oh start. God. And I log in and then finally figure out you started your personal meeting instead but, of anchoring link. But that was crazy because I clicked on anchoring light start meeting. Right. That's why I say, okay, now it's going to be a very powerful one because <laughs> it's not for everybody. <laughs> right. Because I click anchoring light. I do it every Monday. <laughs> every Monday I do the same thing. And guess what? I couldn't even get on Facebook, Annie. It didn't have the thing for Facebook. I do it every Monday. Uh, it was on Facebook. I saw it on my no, phone. No, that was I, through my phone. Right. And then now when I go back, I'm like, I cannot find your live video. Right. Post the correct Zoom link. <laughs> so anyway, it was, anyway, here we are. <laughs> but anyway, you basically already cover everything I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And yeah, I saw the great convergence of the eternal light. I saw the sparkles of light, which is like the living organic lights and yeah. in all multidimensional, all multiverse. And yes, the yod is coming in really, really strong. And it is as if you are giving us the, you know, Shekinah light during the Pentecost when the apostles were experiencing. Yeah. So they all have the higher Yod, higher Shekinah light yeah. on our head. And they put this, it on ours. Yeah, and it's powerful because then it connects with another higher eyes, higher than, you know, what we even know. It's yeah. like a higher divine eyes. And the higher yod is giving us like all the knowledge, the wisdom for us to connect to our higher self. And, you know, with the yod, hey, shin vote, hey, it's like the great sun. Is it? S O N Sun or S U N Sun, you know, it's all the same because we are all activated and going much higher. And yeah, it was really, really powerful. And we all step into the Elohim. So we are into like another different levels. And yeah, I feel that. You keep talking about those who love God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's giving us the consuming divine flame and divine power. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you for sharing. Thank you. 